welcome back to the channel it has been a fair while I think the last video we did was finishing off Jamie's blown tunnel which is probably about a month ago now life has been a bit hectic but it's been good uh, managed to go on holidays with the family do a bit of deep sea fishing head out to the old man's farm a few times motorbike riding also had to do a bit of maintenance on the Navarre and on the motorbike where it is Oh, there it is, on the motorbike as well. So we've been swinging a bit of spanners in the shed, but yeah, not a lot of time being spent on the poor old SS. I do have a couple of little clips where I've started getting working, working on it, but not, like, not enough content there for an episode yet. It definitely hasn't been started yet. But the main reason for this episode is we're going to take the tunnel to an event. We're going to go down to Lakeside. I think they do a bit of roll racing, a bit of eighth mile there around that track. Be a bit of fun. That's that's tomorrow for Father's Day. So today we're going to drag the poor old tunner out and give it a check over. Probably not going to bore you too much with going into detail of what I get get into and get what I get done. But I would like to just go over it to say I don't know. Maybe you blokes before you go to go to these events where you're going to hammer your car all day. You have a bit of a look over it and make sure everything's safe so nothing bad happens because nothing worse than something going wrong, someone could possibly get hurt. So, what I'll do is I'll drag the tunnel out. Poor old thing's been sitting down the side of the house all the way over the back here. Up the side of the house. Drag it out, get it in the shed, and we'll have a bit more of a talk about what we're gonna, what we're gonna look at. Poor old girl's been sitting down the side here, rotting. I haven't driven it in probably a month. Go to fire it up, sure as shit. Battery is flat. So, I have to give it some time, let that battery charge up. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, maybe give it an hour or so. If not, I'll have to push it out and jump start it off the Navara. But yeah, we'll get it started up and pull it up to the shed. It's actually got a flat tyre, you know, pump the tyres up, take it for a spin around the block, get ready to change the oil. It's always good to take it for a bit of a drive and make sure your oil's nice and warm so it runs out of the motor. Easier when you drop it out the sump. Okay, I've got it pulled in the shed here, up on jack stands, giving it a bit of an oil change. So I've got the oil draining, pretty standard, pretty cheap to put nice clean oil. I always change the oil in this probably every two to three thousand k's. I know that seems excessive but every single time I drive it I hammer it pretty hard so it keeps some nice oil in it. I like to put the HPR 10 in there, Ryko Z160 filter. I'll put the full six litres back in it. That little bit extra oil in the sump's good because these things tend to oil surge a little bit so it's always good to have a bit more in there. Um, starting with your wheels Always like to check the inside and outside of your tyres, make sure there's no eggs, no cracks, make sure your tyres are good. Move on to your brakes, check your liners. So make sure you've got plenty of liner in there, because obviously flying down the track, especially like Lakeside where you're going to be on the brakes pretty hard, you want to make sure there's plenty there because you're going to give them a red hot and hard time. Check your, your strut bolts onto your suspension here. Tie rod end, check that bolt, make sure the pin's in it, you know, just give everything a bit of a check. Your ball joint at the bottom, put your spanner on that, make sure that's tight. And your two bolts on your caliper, make sure they're tight too, just to make sure everything's all good. Uh, I like to check the strut tops as well, make sure they're tight. And obviously it's going to be the same on the other side. All the same, check all the same bolts, make sure it's all tight. Now up in the engine bay, obviously I've got the 90 off for the two most important bolts on your whole car, these two right here. If these two little little bolts vibrate out, which has been known to happen, especially on those cheap Chinese throttle bodies, I always keep the standard holding ones because they're just so much better quality. So I even still check these. They are a T15H bit. They were tight, double checked them, so I got that off to check. 
make sure your throttle cable's got no frays on it, nothing worse than your throttle getting stuck open. As for performance, I'll go through and check all the hose clamps on the intercooler pipes just to give them a nip up, make sure there's no leaks, so you're definitely getting full boost. Other than that, make sure the battery's tied down and then check all the fluids. Once I go to put oil back in there, obviously make sure I've got enough oil, make sure I've got enough water, check the power steering, make sure that's got enough oil. And yeah, fire it up, visual inspection, make sure there's no leaks and up the front should be all ready to go. Okay, I've finished up in the front. Another couple of things I did do is clean the air filter with the proper K&N cleaning products. Also check the brake fluid and the clutch fluid. Now I've still got the big tyres on the back, I will have to take them off because at these events the police are known to float around the entrance and exit. So I'll put the street tyres back on because they won't appreciate the bald ET Street R's. But before I go changing the back, what I've got is I've got all the tuner, HP tuners all sorted out in there. I'm actually going to take it for a run, do a couple of logs and just make sure all the AFRs are still good. I may set up another boost level in the boost controller at the the oxygen sensor in there, the wire just goes out through there so the air fuel gauge works. But yeah, I might set up another another boost level just in case something there at Lakeside's only just outrunning me. I might set one up for 13 pounds. I can just hit the button and give it 13 pound for a, a little bit of a squirt. Just in case, I suppose. Try not to use it too much. It's probably starting to push the standard motor a little bit. But All right, when I was tuning it last time, Resetting the boost controller up. I actually did a couple of runs with 13 pound and it went alright. So I'll go out and give it a couple of hits and uh, then I'll come back and change back over to the street tyres, check the back brakes and check under the back of it. Righto, guys, we made it to Lakeside. I didn't really get any clips yesterday, Arvo, after doing the tuning, but pretty well pointless trying to put 13 pounds into it, just brakes free. I'm not going to need that much power here at Lakeside. So we're here nice and early, good turnout. Obviously got Jamie's tunnel there too. He come down with us. He's got a few crew sessions. We're all locked and loaded, ready to go. Got a few crew sessions there. Happy Father's Day to everyone too. So yeah, we'll get some footage on the track, having some runs, hopefully, it'll be good. Get some footage of some cars out there as well.
lakes on. We actually just did the drag event. <laughs> I got lined up against Jamie. Managed to chop him, so that's good. And then I got eliminated the second round, which is pretty cool. But I'll tell you what, I don't really know what the footage is going to be like, but my young fella Blair, he's been filming like a trooper on Father's Day, good on him. So hopefully the footage that he gets for you is, is half decent, and we'll see how we go when we edit it. Well, I'll probably uh, catch up once this is done.
back from Lakeside. And me and Blair, we had a shattered. It was a bloody good day. Hey, young fella. I've seen some of the footage he's got for you, and he's bloody done a great job. Thanks, bud, eh? Done a good job. It's been a bloody good Father's Day. Ended up doing, like, six crew sessions and, the, and like, the eighth mile drag series in the tunnel and just, just pizzling it all day long, and it just... It just performed so well, and you've probably you've probably just seen, actually, I should say, with all the videos that actually goes all right, held its own, got beaten by a fair few people, but then also beat a lot of people. It was definitely all in all a great day, that's for sure. Recommend it. Um, that's, what, that's probably going to be it for this video. But another thing I need to touch on too is that the, there won't be any more videos from this shed. I've actually bought a new house. And uh, we have to move, obviously, so... And the new house doesn't even have a shed, it's only got a carport, so... Maybe the next videos will come from the carport until I get a shed built. But that'll be in the future. It'll get better. But yeah, that's about it. Also, thanks to Jamie, I think some of the footage that'll end up in this... In this video will be Jamie racing. So he's got some footage there as well, so I'll thank Jamie as well. But yeah, that'll do. You know, all the stuff. Like and subscribe and the bell and yeah we'll we'll catch us on the next one catch us later